Hi there, my name is Kyle Porter and I'm a sales engineer here at Simba Technologies. Today I'm going to show you how to connect from Amazon DynamoDB to Microsoft's Power BI using Simba's ODBC drivers. The first thing that we want to do is we want to go to DynamoDB and ensure there's some data there. So I'm just at the Amazon Web Console right now. I'll go choose DynamoDB. I've already thrown some data up in DynamoDB, which I'm looking at the list of tables here. I'm going to choose specifically my demo employee table. And then I'll explore the data. And this gives, shows me the data within my table. You can see it's pretty simple. Uh, employee ID, name, office, and hobbies. Although you'll notice that hobbies is a little bit different to column because it's actually the list of data. Um, so you can see that Ron actually has two elements in it. So I have some data in DynamoDB that I want to analyze in Power BI. The next step is to configure my ODBC driver. So you can go to www.simba.com and download the ODBC driver. And once it's installed, go to your ODBC data source administrator and we'll go configure our driver. This opens up our DSN configuration. For those of you who don't know, a DSN is like a pre-stored connection string. So I do all my configuration up front and then I reuse it um, later on. The important parts here are the host and the region. And we can actually get this from Amazon. So I'm looking at my DynamoDB uh, navigator right now. So if I open my dropdown, I can see I'm in US West Oregon. If I open the regions and endpoints web page and go to the DynamoDB section, look up US West Oregon, I can see my region is US West 2 and my endpoint is a long string. So I'm just going to copy that, I pasted it here, and I filled in my region. Now I also have some IM credentials which were given to me by Amazon. And I filled them in here and now I can test. And test actually goes through the driver and goes out to Amazon DynamoDB to make sure my configuration is correct. Now before I can actually do any analysis in Power BI, I needed to ensure that my schema is defined um, because DynamoDB is a NoSQL data source. So to do that, I go to my schema definition section, I choose a local file to use as my scratch, and I go generate all. So what this does is it goes out to DynamoDB, and for each table in Dynamo, it samples some data to figure out which fields um, are present to represent columns and which um, tables will be normalized. Um, so if there's something like a list, we'll actually show multiple different tables that are linked together, and I'll explain that in a second. So you can see that it's done um, generating schemas, so we'll go edit it, just so we can uh, see what's there. Go to my documents, choose the file that I created. On the left-hand side here, you can see a list of all the tables in Dynamo. So if we scroll down, we'll choose my demo employee table. You can see I have employee ID, name, and office, but there's no hobbies. And as I said before, that's because hobbies is actually a list. So we've gone and we've actually created a, a new view of the data through the AWC driver. So demo employee hobbies. And here there's one row per element in the list. So if we go back and look at our data, there would be one, two, three, four, five rows in our, our virtual table. And you can modify types and names if you want to. I'm just going to leave this as is, and then we'll go upload metadata to actually take the, the metadata that we've generated and put it into Dynamo so that the driver is aware of the schema. And then we'll go OK. So the next part, now that we have our ODBC driver configured, and we have our schema defined, and we have DynamoDB ready to go, because we now want to do some actual analysis in Power BI. So I've gone and gotten powerbi.microsoft.com, and we'll go get data. Go to Other, and we'll choose ODBC. In this connection string section, enter DSN equals, and then the name of the DSN which you configured. Here, mine is Simba Amazon DynamoDB. So I'll put Simba Amazon DynamoDB. OK. Now it'll ask for credentials. Um, we've already supplied the credentials these are using my IAM credentials. So if I go connect, it'll give me a warning saying username wasn't specified. So just hit space to give it something and go connect. And this will bring up the little navigator. And this is where you can select which tables you want to analyze, as well as doing a bit of previewing. So we'll scroll down. If we click on my demo employee, you'll see all the values here. 
we click on demo employee hobbies, you can see that there are indeed five rows, sports, breathing, yoga, music, and sports. So we want to pick both of these tables. I know you could go load if you didn't need to clean up your data, but I'm going to go edit because I want to clean up my data a little bit. So this is the data editor, and you can do a bunch of different things. You can remove columns, you can remove rows, you can remove duplicates, you can split columns, you can group, a whole bunch of other things. Right now, I'm just going to take my office column and I'm going to split it into, because I just want to remove the O at the front. And then I'm going to remove this column because it's kind of redundant. And one last thing is that this is defined as a whole number right now. I actually want to keep it as text so I can use it as a label. And then we'll go close and apply. So here, Power BI is actually going out to, um, through the OWC driver, executing a SQL query against the OWC driver. And the driver is translating that into API calls to DynamoDB and pulling back the data in a relational format. So we can expand my demo employee and demo employee hobbies table. So one thing you might want to do, show how engaged is everyone in the departments with their hobbies. So let's do that by the count of hobbies by office. There we go. Um, now this, this round donut chart is showing the hobbies per department and the total number of employees. Now let's add a little bit of extra data here. And we'll go with our name of the employee as well as the hobbies that they're interested in. So the nice thing here is you can actually highlight uh, a department and it will automatically update all of the other uh, visualizations in our tab. So that's a really quick visualization showing uh, how many hobbies each employee has by department, as well as which hobbies are specifically referred to. And that's how easy it is to hook Microsoft's Power BI up to Amazon's DynamoDB using Simba's ODBC drivers. Thanks for watching.